All right, man. So you got your stuff together. You started making some money. You got yourself in the gym. You moved into a nice apartment, right? You're in a major city. And now you're getting around some of the most sexiest, attractive girls you've ever seen in your life. It's like every time you go to the gym, every time you go to a restaurant, you're surrounded by beautiful women. But then you find a one girl, the one girl that you actually want to take out on a date. And then you're going to take her on this first date. You finally secure it. It might have been a couple of weeks, a couple of days, a couple of months. And you, she finally agrees to go on a date with you. Don't make this one mistake. I used to make this mistake quite often when I started earning a lot of money. And if, if you if you listen to me on this, and at the end of the, today's video, it's going to save you so much time, heartache, energy, and money by making one kind of, one small shift in your mindset. So without further ado, let's hop into today's video. What's going on, family? It is your man, DeAndre Saxon, back for another video. And this is the channel for men that want to become the superior men in their life. I'm talking about being the James Bonds of their life. They want to improve their relationships of women, the quality of the women. They want to have a mastermind group of friends that are at and above their level that they bring value to. They want to dress sharp and they want their charisma to enter the room before anything that they have externally ever does. So if that's what you're looking for, my bro, hit that subscribe button hit that like button because this is where you're going to be getting that content. And a quick little synopsis, guys. I've been running my business now. At 25 years old, I built a seven-figure coaching and consulting business, teaching entrepreneurs how to reprogram their mind and their subconscious mind to achieve the results in their finances. And now I've transitioned to a place where I'm helping men become better uh, men using the same principles. But now, Taylor, instead of just teaching mindset, subconscious mind, I'm teaching men how to reprogram themselves so they can walk, talk, and dress like the James Bond that lives within them. So without further ado, let's hop straight into today's content. So don't do this if you're going to be on the first date with a girl that you like. Now, um, guys, like I said, the channel that I, that, uh, the people that I speak to, the men that I usually speak to are the men that are in a major city, right? You're in a New York, you're in a Miami, you're in a, a Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas, right? You're in a city where there's money and there's a, there's a playground for you to start, you know, living and experiencing life at a, at a fuller level. So typically the men that are watching my channel are earning 10, uh, close to uh, 10,000 a month or more. I say that 10,000 a month is just getting you inside the club. But other than that, having money is not simply being high value there's many other character traits that we talk about on this channel so make sure you subscribe below but on this one we're talking about dating women and just because you can spend a lot of money on a date doesn't mean that you should so um so one of the things that I was running into when I started earning, you know, six figures a month was that just because I could spend money, a lot of money on a date in Miami doesn't mean that I should have. You know, there has been plenty of times where I like I've dated many women, many, many women. And there was times it would be like the sexiest girl. Right. Maybe I met her at the gym or walking and, you know, I would I would get the phone number. She could tell. You know, I made it I made it very obvious that I was making money. You know, I had all my designer stuff. And, you know, these girls can really smell this. And so what would happen is eventually I would meet, you know, one or two or three of these girls a week. And I would eventually invite them out on a date. And most of the time these girls would accept it because I showed that I was making money. Right. So one of the mistakes that I make was going out there and spending a lot of money on the first date. Now. I didn't know it back at the time. I'm going to tell you a couple of mistakes that I made and what will happen if you continue to do this and a couple um, notes of advice that you can do instead to make sure that you secure the perfect date with the girl that's, like I said, this girl, she could have a bunch of Instagram followers. She can be the sexiest girl you've ever been on a date with. But these are the type of girls that you're you're wanting to go on a date with now now that, you, now that you've worked on yourself and you're you know moving at a higher level that you've always wanted to, right? So here's the first caveat is that when you take a girl on a date and you're spending, and what, what, what would I consider an expensive day? I'm talking about an expensive day is typically over four to $500. There's been times where, you know, I've spent $600, $700 on a, on a dinner date with a girl that I hadn't even had, you know, relations with yet. And, you know, that's just now that I look back of it, I, I didn't say that I was simping because I was like, at the end of the day, like I'm making 3000 a day. I don't really care about spending $500 on a Friday afternoon. But at the end of the day, it's not the money. It's the mindset and the principle behind it. You see what I was doing back then. And what I want to prevent you from doing is trying to impress girls with your money. Got, bro, here's one of the things that a lot of men start to do when they start making money is that they try to go out there and they and now they're starting to associate with some of the sexiest girls that they've ever had. 
right? These girls are more attractive physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And you can tell just by when you get her Instagram and the photos that she's posting, what kind of lifestyle she likes. And so there's almost like this little ego part of you that says, man, you have to try to compete or impress her. And typically because now you're making some money, you're going to try to impress her on that expensive date to one of the nicest, finest restaurants in your city. And this is something that you don't want to do. First of all, because she's used to that. You see, a, a woman of this caliber is so used to men, you know, reaching out to her. You know, you know, each day, if you've ever looked at one of these girls' followers on Instagram and social media, they're getting anywhere from 10 up to 40, 50 direct messages from men each and every day. And, and each of these men are simping or trying to give all their energy and resources to the girl. And here's one thing that you have to understand is that when a man starts to give his resources away immediately to a woman, it's almost like the woman starts to perceive you as less valuable. Think of it as this. Imagine a girl that, that, that has interrelationships with you or has a relationship with you on the first night. How do you value her? Now, some of you might say, well, I might not look at her any different. But yeah, you might not turn her into your wife, but you're okay with having her around and keeping her in rotation. But typically, traditionally, a girl that gives it up on the first night is not a girl that you really want to keep around long term or share with your mom, right? Because she lost respect. In the same sense, when it comes to the male, when you start to give out your resources or your money and your connections and you're doing all of this, give, 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 you then cheapen your resources, right? You cheapen your value because now she starts to think to herself, hmm, I just met this guy and he's taking me to the prime steak. He's taking me to uh, the steak houses and the, and the lobster houses of, of the city. He might do this with all the girls. And in that case, you start to devalue or demasculate your ability to, to close the deal or on whatever that means to you, whether you want to keep her in a long-term relationship or you want to keep her in rotation. So trying to impress a girl with your money is a, is, is a sign that you don't, it's, first of all, it's a sign of insecurity, not like a deep insecurity, but it's a sign that you have nothing else to offer or bring to the table to this woman other than your financial. And let me tell you about this. You see, this is why I, spe I speak specifically to, to, to men on my channel that are starting to make money now is because this, this is a different level you're starting to operate at. You're not the only guy with money. And you're not the only guy with money trying to take this girl out. And if you're trying to impress her based on your financial resources, guess what? If she really doesn't like you as deeply, maybe because uh, we'll I'll talk about it right now, but there's always a man making more money than you. And there's a chance that she can munch, monkey branch or jump around to many different days for guys that can also supply her with the same level of resources or lifestyle that she's looking for. And you're just another guy in her rotation giving her free attention. And a lot of the time, these girls are not giving it up. And that's why you're taking them up on a date. You might want to keep her as a girlfriend, but most of the time you just want to keep her in your rotation because you're, you know, you're working on yourself, you're focused, you're running your business. So you just want to have a girl there in your rotation. And a lot of the times they don't give it up just simply by the fact of, once again, I said, you become, you cheapen your value by giving away all your resources. And I don't care if you're earning a hundred thousand or 200,000 a month or 200,000 a year. It's not the money. It's the principle behind it. Just because you can doesn't mean that you should. The next one is that these girls are, are used to getting these type of attention. These girls are used to getting this type of attention. And so when you go out there and you're trying to be one of the other guys that's, you know, trying to give them, give, give, what's happening is you fall in line with all the other guys. You, you know what's so funny? The, the times that I've ever blocked girls, right? Maybe there's a girl I really liked and for whatever reason, right, personal reason, I blocked them. It was it's so funny. For every girl that I ever blocked after the first date, the first hookup or whatever, they always came back, right? They might message me through WhatsApp or Instagram or Facebook. They'll find a way. And it was so funny how the, the girls that I blocked were actually, and they were hot, sexy girls. And it was, a, it was funny that those girls that I blocked were actually the ones that I kept around the longest. So when you become a guy that doesn't want to give, 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 but actually draws back and, and does the opposite, you actually become more attractive. Now, this is, a, this is not a channel that's te teaching you how to hook up or psychology or manipulate girls. No, this is te simply a channel that's teaching you how to be present as a man, how to, how to stay steadfast, become a rock, and be poised whether she's a sexy 10 or, or a 2 or you're working with business partners or closing a deal. This is all about being a poise in a James Bond, not a hookup or, or, or you know, just got hook up with as many girls as possible. I'm talking about poise. 
That's what I'm talking about here. And so by being a man that's not trying to give your resources, what basically what you're saying is, what do you bring to the table, young lady? <laughs> right? Start making girls bring something to the table. And by you going out there and shelling out your, you know, your $600 dinners and, you know, getting your thousand uh, dollar bottles of wine and stuff like that. What's happening is you start to fall into a beta beta provider start um beta provider male or beta provider energy rather than an alpha tyrone or chat energy which says you know what you're one of a couple options that i'm considering and by not giving so much and you stay poised as a man and say you know what i'm attracted to you i'm giving you my time as a man because right now i'm working in the gym i'm running my business i'm hiring people i'm firing people i'm creating content i'm i'm doing something in my life so for me to stop what I'm doing in my life and come spend an hour, two hours with you on this day, that right there is valuable. And for now that I'm here with you, I'm bringing more to the table. I'm bringing a lot to the table and I'm poised as a man. Now, young lady, this is this is the mindset. Now, young lady, what do you bring to the table? You see, when you have that kind of mindset, you're not going to be on this giving, giving, giving $700 dinners, $1,000 tables. Let me take you to live and spend $5,000 on a table type stuff that I used to do. And- one of the reasons that we feel this, sometimes that we feel this, is this, it's this small insecurity. And here's what this insecurity comes from. As a guy, sometimes we look at a girl and she gets it, she's getting a lot of attention, right? You might get the phone number at first. She might be sexy. Then you look at her Instagram. You see she's get a bun getting a bunch of likes. Maybe she has a blue check mark, whatever it is, right? Some kind of outside perceived value. And what happens as a man you, you, and this is what this channel is about, bro. You are a, a king as well. If you got your shit together, you busted your ass, and you may have been sleeping in your car, you may have been, you know, uh, taking, uh, getting rejection on, on sales calls, whatever it is. And now you're earning six to seven figures a year. You get into the dating field, you have a lot to offer. You see, you've worked on yourself, you're becoming a James Bond in your life. So, what happens is, us as guys, when we're super successful in business, we go over to the relationships and we don't transfer that that confidence over to girls. We could do it superficially or egotistically, but I'm talking talking about being a genuine poise as a man that when you take that confidence in business, transfer it over to girls. Now what starts to happen is you don't start to uh, view them as a better, right? Like dating out of your league. Don't ever say that I'm dating out of my league or she's super hot just because she has followers or perception. You want to fall into a category where, like I said, your poise doesn't matter if she's a, a straight 10. It's almost like you're in an interview status. Like, hey, what are you bringing to my table? Make sure you watch my video I, I posted yesterday where I talk about how to actually attract the girl that you want. It's by actually being very specific on the girl that you want. You see, at this point in my life, like if, if a girl's super out there and promiscuous on Instagram, showing booty pics, like I don't really want to take her on a date because she doesn't qualify for what I'm looking for. Now, she might qualify for one night stand or just come over on a, you know, a three in the morning type stuff. But a girl that I actually want to pursue and give my energy and take away time for my business, she wouldn't qualify for that. But the only way that I can say no to that is because I'm very clear on the girl that I do want. So make sure you go watch the video from yesterday where I talk about that. So what starts to happen is when you start to attract a girl, right, on your first date, and you're doing it based on resources, right, you're taking her on expensive dates and, and shelling out, whatever that is, what happens is this girl starts to like you, and it's not her fault, by the way, this is not to shame women, this is just female nature, this girl, she starts to like you, not for you, but what you have or what you can do for her. That right there is a very key key secret that I've shared with some of my uh, um, some of my friends that are starting to come into some money. They're under the age of you know 25 years old. I say, bro, stop taking her to Poppy Steak and 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 Komodo and stuff like that. Right, these restaurants in Miami on the first or second date because what happens is she gets used to it. Right, you're selling out these resources, and now this girl starts to see you not as a as a as exciting guy, but a guy that can really give her a lifestyle that she wants. And she starts to like you for what stuff you can do for her, what restaurants you can take her to. Are you a guy that will eventually be taking her shopping and stuff like this or paying her rent or something like that one day? And these girls you typically find in the major cities. Like I said, this channel is for the city or it's for the group of men that are typically in a major city. But these are like modern girls, right? Not shaming girls. I'm just talking about what's I've been in the dating field and I've seen it. I've done it. I've experienced it. I've wasted hundreds of thousands of dollars in these experiences. Okay. And whether she likes you for what you do or what you have, that's not a girl you really want to have around you as a high value guy. You see, you're on your purpose, you're focused, you're doing what you need to do. What you want to do is have a girl that compliments you. And I'm not talking about if you're trying to keep her for a girlfriend, because some of you may not want to have a girlfriend. But if you do have a girl, make sure she's valuable to you. 
it, whether she's cooking for you, cleaning for you, giving you emotional support, making sure she's actually putting in effort to try to help you out as well. That is very key. And as, as, as sometimes as us as guys making a lot of money, as we forget that we have money, is so what we want to do now is we want to get as, whatever girl we want, especially if she's sexy and she brings nothing to the table. And there's really no chemistry or, or chemistry, or, uh, yeah, chemistry other than the fact that you're doing so much for her and you might get it once in a while or keep her for a couple of weeks or a month or so. But we're talking about having a girl, whether she's in your rotation, whether she's your girlfriend or whether you're trying to make it her wife, a girl that's really adding um, value to you because you are a valuable man. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up with two things that you can do on your first date. That way you don't make the mistake, right? Because what good is me telling you the mistakes if you don't, if I don't give you solutions? So step number one is take her on an activity or an experience. Okay. This this is what's what's this what will start to happen, right? I don't care what age you are right now. Like I said, typically the men I'm talking to are anywhere from depending on when you start making money, 20 to 35 years old, right? Um, I've been through it. I'm 26 right now. I've been I've been on hundreds of hundreds of dates and I'm at the point now where I I don't want to go on a date to a restaurant. I don't care how fine the restaurant is. Restaurant is, you know, what's even more fun going to an activity or an experience, something that you will remember. I can't remember hundred, the hundreds of dates that I've been on, maybe close or didn't close, you know, whatever it was, but I do remember the experiences, right? So take her on an experience, especially if you like her, take her out, you know, kayaking, take her, uh, you know, skydiving, take her to go-karts, take her bowling, take her to some activity or experience that not, not only are you going to have fun, but she will also have fun. It's almost like she's tagging along on an experience that you're already going to have. So that's what I highly recommend. And number two is invite her to something that you're doing anyways. You see, if you're, if you're, if you're the kind of guy that's, that I'm talking about on this channel, you already got shit going on. Why not invite her to something that you're already doing? So now it doesn't look like you're doing extra, right? Trying to go out of your way to go impress her. Because thanks, think about this. Would James Bond go out of his way to go out there? Or Jamie Foxx or Leonardo DiCaprio, would they go out of their way to take out a girl? No. So, because they have such an abundant, right, an abundance mindset of girls, and they're so high value that they say, you know what? I'm already doing something. I'm so busy. Why not you come do what I'm doing? You see, you're going on a hike Saturday. Invite her. You're going to the movie theaters uh, on on Sunday with your friends. Invite her with you. You're going to a, a local restaurant with friends, anyways. Invite her with you. You see, you're already doing stuff. Invite her along. So now, typically. What will happen, especially if you're inviting her with friends, is that she sees that you have a, so a social circle, a social life. And now you become more valuable because she sees that you have other friends, you're already doing stuff. And now she becomes a part of your life versus you stopping your life and you going and trying to cater to her. Like I said, this is not something where we want to degrade the girls or anything, but to raise your value as a man, to start to see and perceive yourself as the James Bond that you are supposed to be. So guys, make sure you subscribe below if you like content like this. Like I said, I'm a big brother. I may not have the answers, but hey, I've been through a lot of stuff and I can help, help you with some things as well. Hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. DeAndre Saxton out.